There she is. I clearly forgot to film quite a bit already. The major part being the removal of this. It was a bitch. Got the clutch off. Got the turbo, manifolds. Got the front cover off already, oil pan. Time to tear this down and check everything, make sure it doesn't suck. I don't think it's even been announced yet, but this is all so I can uh, drift my car at Drift Day 101 this coming spring, which I think is in April. Already gone through one full tub of kitty litter. Probably need at least one or two more. And now the teardown can begin. That's a big boy socket. Pretty sure they make a tool for this, but it's one of those tools I don't have, so you do what you gotta do. After all that, just one little tap from a rubber mallet did the trick. Bitch. Glad I numbered these all and they're still pretty easy to read. Now hopefully I put them back in the right order. They're all loose. Time to break this shit apart. Fuck did this come off man? I swear I've done this before. Rubber mount technique again? Now it's time to rely on the internet to teach me how to tell if this thing is good or bad. A couple seals hanging out in there already. One corner seal hanging out. I don't even know where that one is. That one's there though. One out of three ain't bad. Hard to tell, but that's a little bit of a groove right there. I wonder if that's bad. Probably not good. Hmm. But I don't lose everything off of this rotor. The eye test looks good, which doesn't really mean anything. Here's the first rotor taken apart. Looks dirty, but visibly doesn't look too bad. Not sure if anyone's surprised, but doing things one-handed is just slightly harder. Some bitch sideways. Is that even the right way to do it? I don't know. Motherfucker. 
Well, good enough. Guess we'll know real soon if this is how to do it. I think it just pulls apart. Only took one corner seal with it. I think everything else is good. Hopefully the apex seals don't go flat. Well, shit. I don't know if that's a proper way to store this stuff, but you know, fuck it. Now the second and last rotor. Stayed relatively intact. Oh shit, that's a lot of oil. There's my hand in the shot. Sick. I'm definitely not, definitely not a rotary expert, but I feel like there may be quite a bit of uh, spots that shouldn't be there and coolant. That might actually be normal for the coolant hole. I don't know. Hopefully the internet can tell me. Well, that is a rotary engine, all broken apart. Hopefully not too much of it is shitty. Wouldn't be surprised if it is. Time to start buying parts. Well, that's it for now. Tune in next time when I throw this in a dumpster. <laughs>